I don't understand why this question is so popular because how do you have sex? I mean, do you guys walk around while you have sex? What's the problem? Hi everyone, it's me, Santina Muha, and we are answering more of your questions about what it's like to be in a wheelchair. Today we're answering questions about love, dating, and yes, sex. And um, I wanna remind you that these are all very personal answers. I do not speak on behalf of everyone in a wheelchair. I'm only speaking on behalf of myself. Do you think there are any advantages to dating in a wheelchair? Yeah, if you date me, we're gonna get really great parking at sporting events and also really great tables. Sometimes I don't even need a reservation. Do your dates ever offer to push you around in the wheelchair as opposed to letting you do it yourself? Does this make you feel angry or awkward? No, not angry or awkward. I actually like when a guy offers to push, but if a guy just starts pushing me, then I think that's weird, right? Because would you ever just go up behind a girl that you're dating and pick her up and start carrying her? Has a guy ever been able to pick you up and almost cradle you? What do you do when your date says they want to take you someplace you know is not wheelchair friendly? I'm like, oh, it sucks because now I have to tell this guy, we can't stay here on a first date. I don't want a guy to think I'm high maintenance. Well, I mean, I, it's not that I'm not high maintenance, you know, but it's like I'm not high maintenance because of the wheelchair. How awkward is a blind date for you? Blind dates are awkward, so it's that awkward. Do you like it when a guy gives you more attention because you're in a wheelchair? Well, if I'm tr attracted to the guy, weird sex question, weird sex question, illegal sex question? All right, I guess, it, I guess it's time to answer the big question. Can you have sex? Everybody wants to know, how do you have sex when you're in a wheelchair? It's like I get on a bed, typically, and I, you know, I just, do people have trouble making a move on you? What are we talking? Are we talking put your arm around me or are we talking like swing me around, you know, throw me up on a countertop? Different. That's different. But you can put your arm around me and then we'll talk about the countertop stuff later. Does your wheelchair ruin the romance? Okay, here's from experience what I can tell you. I dated a guy one time and he lived with me. And the wheelchair, I think, kind of did all contribute to our demise because he was helping me so much around the house that it almost started to feel like he worked for me. But I have other friends in wheelchairs who, you know, their boyfriends are helping them with personal stuff and it works out great. But just, I think, keep the lines of communication open because you don't want to be in a situation where you're asking too much of somebody and you don't even know that it's too much, right? So just, just talk about it. Look, dating is tricky biz, right? Whether you're in a wheelchair or not. So if you are in a wheelchair, then don't give up. If you're not dating someone, you can totally do it. And if you're attracted to somebody in a wheelchair, but you're not sure if you can date the person, I say give it a try. It's probably not as different as you're thinking. There's gonna be stuff that comes up for sure. But I mean, tell me one relationship you were in where stuff didn't come up. You know what I mean? Or where it was, Easy, 